Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're here in the Clifton Lake neighborhood on Lower Brownsboro Road at Lee's Chicken. I generally don't do franchise chain restaurants, but this Lee's location has a lot of special meaning to me for a lot of reasons. Uh, I'll explain a lot more later, but the first biggest reason is uh, my wife's grandmother, Mary Carabo Kenny, we used to go to her house every Saturday night and get a carryout somewhere for dinner. And uh, Melissa's uncle, Lou Kenny, he would always be there. And Lou would come to this location of Lee's and get our carry out. We would probably get this about half the time that we would go over there. But anyway, uh, Melissa's uncle Lou passed away, I guess about three years ago. He was really special to us. And of course, Melissa's grandmother, Mary Kenny, she's been gone for a few years, but that was always a big tradition on Saturday nights. Lee's chicken from here on Lower Brownsboro. So a lot of good times were spent, you know, enjoying that Lee's chicken. You got anything uh, that you want to add? Um, not necessarily. I know uh, the sign says holiday shopping. Lee's is popping. So let's see what they can do about popping this button off my pants. Okay. And they're also known for their spicy chicken, which that's another big draw for me to do this review, which I'll explain more of that later. We're going to go on in. Traffic's pretty heavy here. I don't want to get run over. Go ahead. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button for more content, and we can keep it coming. There you go. Oh, also, I'm glad you said that. We got a lot of new subscribers this week uh, from the uh, Tompkinsville videos, uh, the Dixie Chili up in northern Kentucky. We've had hundreds of new subscribers this week, and, of course, with a lot of new viewers and subscribers, you're going to get a lot more comments, and people always tell me don't pay attention to the negativity which I really don't. It doesn't bother me. My eating habits are what they are. Uh, some guy even got under said three generations of uh, horrible eating habits. Talking about my dad and my kids. But aside from talking about my kids, the stuff really doesn't bother me. So, you know, I guess when you get a lot of new viewers, it's a good problem to have with the comments. So I can live with it. All right, enough of the chit chat. We're going to go on now, see what we can order. Okay. All right. Give me the eight-piece family meal. Mm -hmm. Does that come with big sides? Yes. Okay. I'll have the mashed potatoes gravy. Okay. Mac and cheese. Yes. Throw in a regular order of wedges. Got it. Regular order of gizzards. Okay. And a large diet coke. Easy peasy. On the eight-piece chicken, though. Spicy. 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 Gotta be spicy. Piece meal spicy. Well, they've got the whole Christmas theme going here. Decorations all over the whole dining room. Yeah, they really go all out here just to give you that homey, Christmassy feel. All right, well, y'all pretty much heard everything I ordered already, so we're going to start with Ryan. Uh, go ahead and you know what? tell us what you got here. I got to get a side of gizzards. Now, you know, something funny about gizzards is when I moved to Louisville, a co-worker of mine, Robert Metter, was telling me how great gizzards were. And I tried it, and it was like the texture just hit me weird. Now, I think they're delicious. It's like an acquired thing for me. Yeah, I am, I don't get gizzards very often, but I went ahead and ordered some for myself, too. That's got a good breading to it. Try it without any sauce. The hot sauce is probably going to be needed, but... Hmm. Oh, what, you got there? ketchup? Hot sauce. Oh, did you bring your own, too? No, I just brought my own jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and you're out of honey too. Yeah, out of honey, so you gotta bring your own jelly in. Right. 
Hey, as long as we got hot sauce, though, we can always get through. Yes, sir. That, yeah. You get mac and cheese? Oh, yeah. Because the hot sauce is mac and cheese. Absolutely. Oh, yes, you already know how it's done. Yes, sir. <laughs> got a uh, neighbor over here who puts hot sauce in this mac and cheese. Come on. Y'all know that's the only way I fly. That's All right. Delicious. Um, these are spicy chicken, chicken nuggets, basically. Um, that's what I'm definitely going to dip in the buffalo sauce. Mm. Yep. That's a definitely good crispy. It's got a good spice to it. The buffalo sauce is really good. And, um, you know, we got our... Uh, well, I'm, I'm a sauce guy myself, so I like I like a little bit of the honey mustard and the buffalo sauce to add to it. Oh yeah, you're starting to turn into the condiment king yourself. Well, that's my main meal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut there. All right. Well, we're gonna cut away, let him work on some of that chicken and gizzards, and then I'm gonna get all my stuff laid out and prepared. Hi, I'm Angel at N Plus One Bikes, where we have one of the largest selections of road bikes, e-bikes, and mountain bikes. We also have an amazing inventory of components and accessories, but we still have a few other hidden secrets. Come follow me. Hi, behind these curtains, we have some of the best, most professional mechanics that are ready and willing to get you dialed in. So come on in and come visit us guys. All right, I don't wanna leave my neighbor out here. And what's your first name, sir? Oh. Paul, good to meet you. Uh, we were cutting up in line up there because he had to go down the street to get some jelly for his biscuits. Yeah. You know, you got to have the accessories, and you see there, he's not scared of the hot sauce either. Oh, yeah, you have the hot sauce. There you, you go. So, have you had anything besides the biscuits yet? Uh, well, this is my favorite spot here every Sunday. So, you know, I just, uh, just hoping that they 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 they're gonna have some. We're having some honey and strawberry jelly, so we ain't got to bring it all. Right. It's been about two years since they had it, so you just kind of do it. Zag, two years they've been out of jelly. Yeah, two years. So what you what you working with here? I get my spicy breast, and I get my biscuit macaroni and cheese. Oh, you've already killed the macaroni yeah, and cheese. Oh, yeah, he started. That was his appetizer. Yeah, that was it. That was the Mac and cheese and hot sauce for an appetizer. All right, you're going to go ahead and get into one of them breasts and see how they're working there. Usually, I don't get breasts usually because it always seems kind of dry. Uh -huh. this is good right there. You see that right there? Oh, right there. oh yeah. yeah they're going to play. This is the best chicken in town right here. Well, I'm, I'm about ready to find out and show these people. It's good and hot, too. Well, see, I already know, too, but I've never eaten in here. I've always had carryouts here. Uh, yeah, I'm yes, sir. And town okay, I hear you. Well, I appreciate you uh, showcasing your food for us. No problem. All right. No problem. And while well, I still got this camera going, I'm going to show you. they got a nice, quaint little dining room here. Uh, you see around there? And everything is clean as a pen. That's one, one thing my parents told me why they come here every week. Everything's always clean. They got a nice little cool booth over here. If you want to bring a date. Nice little romantic setting here in the back corner. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get my stuff ready. Yeah, We're gonna start eating. All right, while I'm getting situated here, I wanna let you know, uh, I did this review of Gus's hot chicken not too long ago, and people were asking me, where's the best place to get hot chicken? Now, Gus's hot chicken is good, but it's not hot. It's tasty, it's affordable, it's a nice place. But if you want spicy, hot fried chicken in Louisville, this is the place. Okay? Now, I know that you got your Nashville hot chicken in Nashville, stuff like that. But as far as Louisville, Kentucky goes, if you want hot fried chicken, of course, you got Indies. Indies is spicy, but it's not hot. Indies got a different kind of spice, which y'all know I love Indies and that spicy keel. You don't get much better than that, but this is a whole different level of hot right here. All right, here we go. Mm. I don't even know what to call that bite, the quadruple. Mm. That's called 
I haven't eaten since 7 o'clock last night. Bye then for the kill. When you haven't eaten for 16 hours, ain't nothing like that first bite. It's like the first time you fell in love. You know, <laughs> it's just hard to explain. All right. They got the wedges. I forgot to get ketchup. But I asked the lady up front. By the way, she's nice as she can be. If we can get her on camera later, I'd like to. But I said, how's your wedges? You remember what she said, Ryan? Uh, I walked Something away. Something like, unbelievably delicious. Or, mm. Mm -hmm. Let me grab one of those. Yeah. yeah give me that. <laughs> All right. Wedges are great. Mm -hmm. My man over here said, asked if I got the mac and cheese. Yeah. I only got a pint, though. <laughs> oh. Caught me slipping. I know the haters out there. You got to taste it first before you put the sauce on it. No, sir. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good, cheesy, rich, but not too rich. Mm. Hey, young lady, yes, sir. go back there and get dolled up. Because I'd like to get an interview. My parents told me you're really nice and you've been working here 20 years. Yeah, I got the right one. one, right? Yes. Well, if you go back and get primped up, you might do, do, do a little cameo. I can be more prepared if you tell me you're prepared. I can do that. All right. You just tell me when. I'm going to hold you to that. All right. So the mac and cheese is thunder. Now I got some mash. Potatoes, because you know you can never have too much starch in your diet. So, oh, and a little gravy. I know Colonel Sanders is probably looking down on us, getting mad because he was always he took so much pride in his KFC gravy. Well, Colonel's rolling in his grave because that gravy, right, not near as good as this uh, Lee's gravy. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. All right. So I got the mac and cheese, the starchy potatoes. All right. Now we're going to save this other item for next. Now we're going to go back to Ryan and see what else he's working with. I see some healthy green beans. We'll be right back. Here's the, uh, the founder, Lee Cummins. Okay. All right, I'm going to start off with some of the green beans that you just mentioned, because I love me some green beans. I'm not even going to lie to you. Well, I know they're good, because we used to get those over at Melissa's grandma at Mimi's house. Man, they are, they are really good. Um, yeah, you can taste fresh. They don't taste like they're kind of out of a can. They may have, but they don't. They, they taste very good. How do they compare to your mama's green beans? Well, I'm not going to go comparing to mama. <laughs> Mama can do some cooking. There you go. But, you know, you reviewed the mashed potatoes. You give my well, everybody's got their own honest opinions. So, what do you think? Very good. I I probably add a little more pepper to it, but mm -hmm. um, it's good consistency, good flavor. The mashed potatoes are spot on. The gravy's good. And then a couple more things you got. Yeah, you never have enough pepper. So. One thing you can always add, but you can't subtract. You know, when it, people you get too much salt and pepper in your food, so you can always add it. Yeah, the macaroni and cheese is delicious, really creamy, good consistency. I love macaroni and cheese. That's that's my comfort food right there for anything, any occasion. And you got to remember, a lot of old people come out and go to Lee's, so can't take much salt in their diet so you know mm. you if you had to i don't think it needs salt myself no i don't think but salt. if you need to add it you can always add it and then got you what what you got there got this delicious biscuit a little bit of butter in it can you open her up there for me oh yeah that's some good like homemade grandma style mm -hmm. biscuits no one wait for <laughs> All right, and perfect. 
Last a lot of time time you go places and you get biscuits, and they're so dry that hard. To get. That one got perfect amount nice of moisture, moisture to it. Took good. I'm able to swallow it without having to choke. That All being right. said, I do need to drink my diet Pepsi, but wash it down. Got to be something healthy in this meal. You know, they've got green beans and diet Pepsi. Okay, so have you tried everything on your your plates yet? I sure have. All right, we'll be right back, and I'm gonna start smashing. All right, we're in a time machine clip right now. How did I get here? I don't know. Well, you know, I do time to time. I'll fly back and forth into the future and the past. Well, you'll see at the end of the video today, you'll understand why we had to get in the time machine. So, I have to try the pot pie, which I found out after the fact was really, really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and get in the time machine and try this pot pie. Look at there, ooh, it's still steamy and hot. And who in the world doesn't like chicken pot pie? I remember I used to get these as a kid. My mom would get these uh, frozen TV dinner pot pies and it was just like torture waiting for those to get done because they took like an hour in the oven. Mmm. Very tasty with the gravy. I'll take off some of the top so we can see inside better. Okay. Look at that. Just like grandma would make. Got a nice flaky crust on top. Very good. Does it make you think of that song I was telling you about? Go ahead. I see. like the chicken. I like the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> That didn't make me think of that song, but now I don't think I'll be able to get that one out of my head. What's Maybe. that from? I think it was a Cheech and Chong movie. Cheech and Chong? Okay. All right, well, enough of that. Let's get on back in the time machine, head down to Lower Brownsboro Road, and back at Lee's Chicken. All right, so... I'm going to try my gizzards without any hot sauce or anything. Those look like livers. I hope they didn't give me liver because I will have to send these back. No, those are gizzards. And you know what? I don't know what a gizzard is, and I probably don't want to know. That's very tasty. Now, I'm going to put on some of this extra hot crystals, which I picked up at Jungle Gems this weekend when we were doing that Dixie Chili review. Crystals, you see that a lot down in Louisiana. A lot of your Cajuns like that crystals, but I bumped it up with that extra hot. Mmm. All right, that really makes it, takes it to another level. All right, I'm gonna try these biscuits. Mmm, too fishy. Mmm, but I always get a big side of gravy. You never know when that gravy can come in handy because they didn't have any honey. But you just make do with what you got. Mm. 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 I'll tell you what. Ryan and I were debating all morning on what we were going to review today. And I've been doing so many hamburgers lately. And then, you know, did that Dixie Chili. I, and we've done a lot of pizza. So I was just in the mood for something more down home today. Couldn't get any more down home than some of these country biscuits and chicken and, and gizzards. All right, I'm going to work on some of mine. I've been doing too much talking. Need to do more eating. All right, be back in a minute. All right, we were, we were getting set up, getting the camera ready and everything, and... This gentleman right here was riding his bike through, stopped, 
What's your name, Michael? Well, you know, coincidentally, it's funny because when he stopped, like, Ten seconds later, a family in car stopped right in the middle of Brownsboro Road, said they just left Mass, and that they watch my show all the time, and they just wanted to meet us and, and everything, so that's like awesome. Bicycle rider just stops in the middle of Brownsboro, family stops in the middle of the street. I mean, it's really cool. So I, I appreciate you stopping. It's good to meet you. And we appreciate your support. Thank you, Widow. All right. Everything was great. And as I said, I was going to try and get a few words from the manager. Uh, can you introduce yourself there? My name is Abby. Okay. And how long have you been here? I've been here for 20 years. 20 yes. years? Yeah, managing for 20 years. Okay. They must treat you pretty good they here. They treat me very well. <laughs> yes. And are you from around these parts? Yes. I grew up on Pope Crest Avenue, where all the Halloween decorations are. Okay, and tell me kind of a little background here, you know, what sets Lee's famous recipe apart from the rest. Can you just give us a little rundown? I would say probably our customer service is the best. You're going to find it the city. I have very loyal customers. The food is delicious. We've been in business for over 30 plus years. And it's just real homey feel and delicious food. <laughs> some of your other signature yeah, items that, that like somebody hadn't been here before what would you tell them recommend them come in and try besides the chicken definitely need to try the pot pie right now since it's so cold that pie just warmed your tummy and it's really good well what are you, why didn't you tell me about that when i came in and ordered you should have told me what you wanted and i wasn't gonna steer you wrong anything on the menu is good well now that i've already gotten through and now you tell me about the pot pie well I guess I'm going to have to do something about that. You're going to need to get a pot pie to go for sure. Okay, all right. So is there anything else uh, you can add about this particular location? Maybe? Well, one thing I want to point out, besides the chicken and that famous spicy breading, everything here is like a fine old tuned machine. Everything comes out like clockwork, fresh, crisp, ready to go. Anything else before we cut away? Just come and see us. All right, with that, y'all don't know nothing about this Lee's Famous. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.